Okay, everybody, we're gonna keep the fun and games going on our October special. Let's press your luck for the dog. Let's see how we do. Well, we did win $200, so that's good. And card chart for the DOS. Here we go. Press your luck. Question round one. During World War II, Howard Hughes built a flying boat that flew only once. What was its nickname? I'm going to say it was nicknamed the Spruce Goose. All right. Is it the Spruce Goose? The China Clipper or the Spirit of St. Louis? Spirit of St. Louis. How about a little bit? China Clipper. Everybody gave a different answer? It's the Spruce Goose, so I get three spins. Question two. If you watched Al Capone's vault being opened on TV, you might get this one. What was Capone's full first name? Oh, I don't know this one. I'll let Pix here a little bit have a shot. Alphonse. All right. Is it Alphonse, Alvin, or Alan? Let's make it unanimous. It is indeed Alphonse, so Pixie gets three spins, Lobo gets a spin, and I get a spin. Question three. A Restaurants and Institutions magazine poll shows which alcoholic beverage was preferred at lunchtime. I'm going to go with wine, okay? Is it wine? Beer? Or vodka? Pixie's gonna agree. It's unanimous. And it's beer, so nobody got that one right. Ooh. That's okay. Last question. Which former first lady did Cosmopolitan Magazine call the most famous woman in the world? I'm going to let a little bit try this one, just so she can pick up some more spins if possible. Nobody answered. Is it Jacqueline Onassis, Betty Ford, or Rosalind Carter? Pixie's going for Jacqueline Onassis. Everybody's going for Jacqueline Onassis, so let's see if it's right. It is indeed. So Pixie goes up to four, a little bit goes up to two, and I go up to five. All right, let's go ahead and press our luck. We'll start with Little Bit, who has two spins. Does she want to press her luck? No, she wants to pass to Pixie. Interesting. So, Pixie, we'll go to you with two spins. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to take both of them. Here we go. $1,250. How about that? You have to take one more spin, and here it comes. You have to take it. Three fifty. So, little bit gave you sixteen hundred dollars worth of spins, and you have four of them that you can do whatever you want with. Do you want to press your luck, or do you want to pass? Keep pressing. Whammy. Spin costs you $1,600, but you have three of them left. Do you want to press your luck, or do you want to pass? Press. $100. Okay, well, you got a little money back, and you still have two spins. Press your luck or pass.
move to left to a pool and card table worth one thousand three hundred ten dollars. You're at fourteen ten. One spin. Press or pass. She's pressing. Two fifty. Okay, so you're at sixteen hundred and sixty dollars. You got all your money back and a little more. I have five spins. I'm gonna press my luck. And I got four hundred dollars. All right. That gets me started. I would like to press my luck. Oh, I got a whammy. Dang it. Well, that spin cost me four hundred dollars. That's the bad news. The good news is I still have three spins left. I'm gonna press my luck. And I got some money back, $550. All right. Two spins left. Let's press. And I got myself a trip to New York worth $995. $1545. I trail by $115. I'm pressing my luck. $600. Okay, so I have $2,145. And I get to go last in the final round. And we're going to play question round number two right about now. 25, 35, or 45, what's the minimum age for a member of the House of Representatives? I know it's 25 for the President of the United States, so I'm just going to go with 25. Okay, so 25, 35, or 45. Pixie, go for 35. That's the minimum age for the President. Well, let's go for 25. It is indeed 25. Little bit has a spin, and I have three. Question two. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, does hard exercise increase, decrease, or have no effect on a woman's fertility? Is it decrease, increase, or have no effect? Decrease. I will say increase. It's decrease, so Pixie got it. Moving on. Already home to the Indians, Cavaliers, and Browns, this Ohio City is now also home to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Which city is it? I think I know this one, so I'm going to buzz in. I'm going to say Cleveland. All right, is it Cleveland, Columbus, or Toledo? Pixie. I'm going to agree. Going for Toledo, it's the Cleveland Indians, Cleveland Browns, and Cleveland Cavaliers. So Pixie goes up to two and I go up to six. Last question. According to a Glamour magazine survey, how many working women out of five feel discriminated against when it comes to salary? I'm gonna say four. All right, is it four, three? Or two. Oh, well, let's go for two. Let's see the right answer. It's four. So Pixie goes up to three, and I go up to nine. And Little Big gets to go first because she has no money, and she has one spin. Will she press her luck with it? She will. And she gets $5,000 plus one spin. And just like that, she's in the lead with $5,000 and has a spin. What will she do? She's going to take it. Move to left to $1,200. So that's $6,200 for now. And first place, as we go over to 
Pixie, who has $1,660 and three spins. Move two left to $1,000. There you go. That puts Pixie in second place with $2,660. $2, two spins. Press it or pass it. Oh, she's passing. Interesting strategy. Okay. A little bit. $6,200 on the line. Two spins. You have to take them. Big bucks. $3,000 in a spin. That's $9,200. One more spin you have to take, and then we'll talk about your earned spin. Press it or pass it. And she got herself a solid gold chain worth $2,330. Bringing you up to $11,530, and you have a spin you can do whatever you want with. All right. Here we go. I'm going to press my luck. Stop at $1,500. Okay. $3,645. Eight spins. I'm going to press my luck. Oh, I got a whammy. Dang it. And we're getting a telephone call. Can I help you? Bye bye. Well, that spin cost me $3,645, but I have seven spins left. We can get it back. I'm going to press my luck. Move one up to $1,500. Okay, cool. Got some money back, and let's press it. Go. And I got myself a diamond pendant worth $2,300. All right. So that now puts me in second place of $3,800, and I have five spins. I would like to press my luck. $1,200, up to $5,000. Four spins. Uh, I have to keep going. We have to keep going. And I got myself a red fox wrap worth $1,660, so it's $6,660. I have three spins. I'm going to press my luck. And this time I got a gold ID bracelet worth $2,550. $9,210. Two spins. I trail by $2,320. I'm going. And I got $5,000 plus one spin. $14,210. I'm in the lead. I'm going to take one more spin in the hopes that it will work in my favor. Ten gold bitcoins worth $8,080. That's $22,290. Now is the time to pass that spin. Okay, a little bit. You have one spin. You have to take it. Here it comes. And she got herself a plane to Spain worth $3,770. That's $15,300. And you have that spin right there. What are you going to do? You going to take it or pass it? You're going to take it. She has to get... $750, and she got an additional spin, so she's still in it. It's not over. $16,050, you still have that spin. She's going. She got herself a diamond pendant worth $2,390, but that is not enough. Because I went with $22,290. What a game. It was a good game, too. And I'll see you all for that next segment coming up right after this commercial break. We'll be right back, folks. How about that? Over $22,000. That was a great game. Oh, yeah. 